Voilà. Good afternoon. Hello. 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 Good afternoon. So we have already 25 people here, but we expect uh, at least some 10 more. So let's wait uh, a little while. Frau Breuer, kann ich hören oder ist nur alle stumm geschalten? Na, jetzt höre ich was. Passt. Ja, war automatisch jetzt auf Sturm, oder? Ja. Ja. Okay. So, good afternoon to all participants. Welcome to our fourth session of BSO capacity building within the project boost for BSO. Good afternoon to everybody. Good afternoon. And I will share my screen. And you should see now my screen. Okay. So the today's topic is the transformation roadmap towards industry four zero. And uh, first of all, I would like to give you a short recap about the project. We are eight project partners located in Central Europe. And with, in the project, we have the main objective to, to build up the capacities in the business support organizations in the area of Industry 4.0 with the aim to support our local companies in their digital transformation in the best possible way. And of course, we would like to spread our knowledge about uh, uh, SME support with other BSOs. And uh, this is why we are here today. Okay, we had already three of the uh, capacity building wave two sessions and today is the fourth one and uh, probably in June we will have then you switch off the microphone Emma. yes I was muted by the organizer <laughs> <laughs> okay and uh, we will have then some face-to-face -face meeting in the local area of the project partners in June. 
So the agenda for today, after my introduction and welcome, uh, we are happy to have two experts here from the University of Applied Sciences, UNIAM from Styria in Austria. And uh, Mr. Martin Chandel will start with the introduction to the transformation roadmap and his colleague Ernst Basel will introduce us to the use case. And after the break, he will tell us which tasks we are supposed to do then in the 45 minutes of case study. And as we did it in the last times, uh, each of the group is supposed to have a five minutes pitch. And then we will again have the debriefing and wrap up by the two experts. And then we will have the feedback questionnaire. And finally, the ranking. And I'm really curious which of the groups will be the winner of our competition. So maybe just short reminder about the pitch. No, I will do this then after the break. So I will give now the floor to Professor Martin Chandler and would like to ask him to give the talk. Okay, so can you hear me and can you see the screen? Yes. Okay. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Good afternoon. Welcome to session four, Transformation Roadmap Industry 4.0 in your workshop, EU Project Boost for PSO. Um, I'm, glad, I'm glad to uh, be able to, wait a moment, so I'm glad to be able to give you this lecture here today together with my colleague, as mentioned, Mr. Pessel. Uh, and we have to present three sections. The uh, first two are very short ones. Who are we and where do we come from? And then uh, the main part, of course, is about Roadmap Industry 4.0. And to start with the first one, I'm head of Institute Industrial Management. This is an institute for running uh, for um, industrial engineering and management um, study programs and focusing on horizontal and vertical integration. So we do for some decades, a lot of projects and also publications on this topic. And my colleague, um, Ernst Bessel, is senior lecturer and uh, applied researcher at our institute. And he is a real expert in manufacturing execution systems and enterprise resource planning systems. And so for vertical integration and from the very beginning of this, uh, of the development of this transformation roadmap industry 4.0. He has been um, at the top of this development. And so at the top for this strategic process model for digital transformation. Uh, we come from one of the largest universities of applied sciences in Austria, which is not, um, um, which not brings a lot of students uh, in this, uh, um, from this point of view, because in Austria, all university of applied sciences are about let's say the largest one five to six thousand students like uh, like us at three locations um, and we have about uh, 60 bachelor master programs it's a moving target of course and had in the last uh, two decades 16,000 graduates and we run about uh, let's say some hundreds projects a year with a turnover of approximately eight million euro yearly and as an institute we do also run since 2018, a smart production lab, which is um, a hub for digitalization and for industry 4.0 uh, topics in Austria. And we focus on this applied R&D, um, not only for industry, but also for small and medium-sized enterprises, uh, serving as a kind of competence platform uh, for researching, but also for testing new technologies, so for proof of concepts. And it's a learning factory, of course, for the qualification of tomorrow. And this is a kind of interior view. It's a former production hall um, developed into a digital learning and research factory at the cost of 
um, about uh, 4 million euro to date, uh, 600 square meters, seven meters high, and divided into several sectors. So there is in the middle the production, which also serves as a Fab Lab, you know, from the MIT ID of Fab Labs. There are 1,600 worldwide, so that people from outside can also use the machinery and the lab in the opening hours. You hardly can see big machines because we, as an industrial engineering institute, we are not mechanical engineers, so we are not in love with big machines, but we are in love with, uh, and we are interested in the data flow between the machinery. Um, and then there is a little bit outside of the view on the right side, the security lab and the next gen lab with SAP for business model development. Um, and so at the end of the hall, you can see a learning area. So there's an auditorium based on the Harvard year from Harvard University so that all participants can see each other um, and discuss with each other. Um, so we use it for lectures. We use it for com small conferences. We use it for, uh, let's say, talks with companies, uh, practical uh, uh, issues and so on. The concept model, so the, the, there's the content we agree on today with our, with our idea is there is a horizontal and vertical integration. So horizontal is alongside the, the value chain and um, the methodology, we use it for prototyping, we use it for state-of-the-art use cases, which are not new for, let's say, academia, but it's new for the small and medium-sized enterprises, the kind of development are in R&D. And uh, we have research use cases, which are also new for the big companies, and we are developing with them together any applied projects. And the functions is the third dimension, which there's a kind of low threshold awareness uh, with our Fab Lab so that we can build up this awareness around. There is, of course, as a university human resource function, um, learning and training also for uh, the management of companies where they do the digitalization trainings at our lab. And of course, we have these projects I told you before. And we, we focus on these contents in the small production. So in the, in the X axis, you see the value chain for coming from, uh, let's say from um, um, development of products and, and services to logistics and production and, and distribution. And we also produce a product in this, uh, in this hall, it's a clock uh, with a small bill of material, of course. And from each of these stations in the value chain up there is the Y axis, there is the vertical integration. So coming, let's say from the machinery, we have to, to retrofit it digitally because it's not able to use IoT functionality. And after retrofitting it, we can go to the manufacturing execution systems in the middle for the production planning. And then we go up to the ERP system um, for, the, uh, for, for all the, the master uh, data um, stuff and up to the analysis and reporting. And above this pyramid of a company, there is a kind of strategy we need before. Otherwise we would maybe just do some spots in digitalization without the red line we follow without a strategy we follow to reach a degree of a, of a goal in two, three, four, five years. And so to, to get this strategic roadmap, uh, we developed, a, we developed a, a roadmap a model. The motivation for you and us uh, for this is that there's a relevance of production industry you know, in Europe about 20%, almost 20% in our region, up to more than 40% GDP. From, from industry and with, of course, in Europe, always a very high export share. So there is a global competitiveness and this, lead, this digitalization we, we, we are looking for leads to smart production to industry 4.0. And this should foster competitiveness, of course, as we all know. So cost by three benefits, more efficiency because we can lower the costs. We can, we can individualize the production with the same cost, which is kind of batch size one. Um, and, and of course, new and, and digitized business models can be developed out of the new data. And, and so we can, we can earn new revenues or higher margins. And all this should lead that in our regions and in, in, in Europe, production uh, stays in Europe 
that is not uh, moving to the far east. So, and so there is a little transformation necessary for the larger enterprises because of this, of this um, kind of global competition. It's necessary to survive. And for the small, medium-sized enterprise, of course, it's not in the same, mostly not in the same um, extent uh, necessary in the global competition, but they are delivering this, the larger companies uh, uh, mostly. And, and there, is a, there, there, there is a gap between the relevance and the implementation of digitalization. And this is uh, very often because lack of resources, capital and, and, human, cap and human resources, and the lack of know-how. And so small and medium-sized enterprises or industry, there is a need uh, for them for, strate for a strategic roadmap for, for digitalization. And there's a need for support for the digital transformation. Not only the roadmap is interesting, but also support for digital transformation. So, uh, and, and as, a, as a university, I would say there is also a need for interdisciplinary qualified transformation engineers um, and universities, but also for um, organization, organization like yours, which are necessary to foster the strategic digitalization uh, for the SMEs in your regions. Um, so your EU project, for example, boost for PSO. And so we come to this roadmap industry for zero. And if we agree on this, this is very important for the, for the industry and for economy and so for uh, societies for the future in Europe. Uh, we need these roadmaps for our companies, but it must be an individual one. There are many um, kind of uh, proposals how such, such a maturity or process model could look like. And so we also did one of these proposals. We developed it together with a big company. It's uh, Flextronics now named Flex, um, which run uh, uh, a very successful site in, in the south of Austria and not in our region, but in the south of Austria. And we developed with them, um, for them, a process model and a maturity model. And we developed it in a, in a format that we can use it also for other companies. And so we do in the last four or five years. This model, this roadmap model has, um, is divided into three pillars. There is the analysis, there are goals and implementation. Each pillar is further divided into sub steps or sub steps, two sub steps. Um, we have this analysis in the first pillar, uh, start workshop and the maturity analysis. <clears throat> the third step and the fourth step in the objective pillar is the defining of a target state and um, the generation and evaluation of measurements and projects you need to gap to, to, to bridge the gap between uh, the maturity level and and the goal you defined and the last pillar is the implementation where you which is very individual um, every company has a different uh, process or many companies have different processes how to proceed when there are idea, when there are ideas popping up um, uh, to for investments and of course, digitalization is a topic where we, you have to, to, to invest not only in hardware, not only in software, but also in human resources. Of course, there are not uh, investments in the, in the, in the it's a, there are investments in the broader sense of this, of this, um, <coughs> of these words. And um, if you find, or if you define, we, we defined also a, a, a process how to, prepare decisions and how to come to, an, to a decision. And after this decision here step in the sixth step, there is a kind of initiation of projects, which leads to a multi-project uh, management, um, um, an anchor, anchoring of all these projects in the budgets of the next and the next years, uh, so that uh, you have <clears throat> A high degree that all these measurements and, and, and projects will lead to the goal you defined at the beginning. Uh, uh, what kind of what degree of, of digitalization you want to reach as a company. When I start with the first step, the start workshop, which needs about half a day normally, um, this should create an awareness. 
uh, an awareness of industry 4.0 or of digitalization in the company. And of course, in every company, there's a different um, degree of, of awareness already in function. So we talk about uh, if, if there is almost no knowledge, we have to start at the, at the very beginning, definition of industry 4.0, what are the elements, what does it mean, what will it uh, lead to, and so on. Uh, and we can, of course, adapt it to the degree of uh, knowledge already uh, uh, appearing in these companies. And then we reflect the digital strategy. Uh, is there any, or should we go for it? Does it exist? Is, uh, it, is it integrated into the corporate strategy? We have to identify, um, we have to identify uh, opportunities and risks for the company. Um, in the process of digital transformation and um, companies present already planned or implemented ideas of uh, digitalization uh, in the different departments uh, which popped up there in the last decade, uh, last uh, month and in this workshop we also present successful digitalization and realizations we, we present use cases um, of company of other companies, maybe companies in the same in the same industry, which is always very helpful, so that the company can say yes. If this uh, competitor or if this company already reached this goal of digitalization, we should also go for it, and it helps us very much to get a kind of awareness and and uh, readiness to go um, a strategic way of transformation. Um, and at the end, we also have a kind of initial screening, a digital readiness check. You already did one. There are many on the market. You already did one of uh, VDMA, VDMA at the very beginning of your workshop series. And uh, you can use any of these to, to get an idea how their own people, their own management and employees see the maturity of digitalization with the help of only a few criteria. Yes, uh, Martin, uh, may I? Uh... Um, uh, further information to the digital readiness check. Uh, we have uh, defined it for different fields of 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 action. That's maybe an, an additional information. Uh, for example, for production, for area of production in a company, or or purchase uh, a logistic, uh, uh, sales and distribution, and also uh, a more or less a, a, a how do you say a cross functional. Uh, uh, approach the HR, the HR over all uh, human resources over all the, the, the other fields of action. Yeah, this is, uh, thank you very much for pitching to the next step, because I wanted to tell this uh, with step two, where you can see uh, that we, we go into that. Um, what you can do with such a very short uh, testing and readiness check, uh, which is uh, which can be done in let's say half an hour, one hour. Uh, what we can do in one or half an hour, one hour is not what we you we have to do to get the maturity level of the company. So we have to go into depth in all of these named uh, topics. We use the value chain, as Mr. Bessel said. We start with procurement, production, sales. So four main steps in production, for example, um, and um, underlined by the logistics part and the human resource part. Why human resources? At the very beginning, we didn't thought about this especially, but the company uh, Flextronics told us that it's not possible to be successful in their company with any project and uh, surely not with digitalization when they don't have all their employees and workers in the boat of transformation in the digitalization topic. And so we realized that we should uh, work on this on and deepen this too. And uh, we had uh, five topics. And in each of these uh, topics, we uh, try to find the maturity, um, which is uh, helpful to start as a core of the roadmap. We have five maturity levels. Um, level one describes the state with little or no ICT or information and communication technology usage very ad hoc controlled processes, um, you know, a lot of done with paper, 
not very systematically. Level three in the middle would be the use of common ICT solutions. So the companies use, for example, ERP systems, maybe MES or manufacturing execution systems for the planning of the production. Um, and um, in the fifth level, in the fourth level, we would add, let's say, uh, the horizontal um, integration. We would we would add some some suppliers or customers, and in the fifth level, everything is completely digitized, and the usage of technology is, as you can read here, far above the standard. Um, yes, then. Because of the fact that Industry 4.0 is a long term development process and future um, techno technological innovations cannot yet be predicted, the maturity models describe the current state, of course, only of this development. Um, and we do this in, in, in workshops. So, um, in the production, there is a, a team of, let's say, 10 people out of the production. Um, of the company uh, and in the moderated workshop uh, for one or two days, they are going into depth to, to find the maturity, discussing for each level how it should look, would like, look like. So there are for each of these uh, maturity topics, many criteria, data management, production program planning, M um, MRP planning and so on. So uh, concrete topics and defined levels from one to five. And the team is now discussing for each of these criterions, um, by each of these criteria, um, are they sure that they reach level one or two or three or not? And so sometimes they even quarrel a little bit about that and they have to discuss it in depth and to find together a solution to say, uh, okay, <clears throat> um, we as a group, as a, as a interdisciplinary group of in the, in the production, with the head of production, maybe with the assistant, with some workers, uh, with some group leaders, we we think now after discussion we are at level two, for example, um, and we use the the method of hammer. So green means completely fulfilled uh, if more than eighty percent of the criteria are realized, and and, and yellow would mean uh, partly met. So if criteria are between uh, <laughs> 80 and 20 percent, and um, not met. Red if less than 20 percent of the criteria met. So we can make it simpler, more more simple for the for the for the moderation in these workshops. And the 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 that's kind of of result of in in these discussions is here is one criterion: production control or traceability. Um, with a description of the key topics. So how is order release, order resource monitoring and tracking done in the manufacturing? And there are some, uh, some uh, examples, plan versus actual for time, quantities, deadlines, and so on. And then there is a defined uh, maturity level from level one to level five. So in level one, we have production control is manual, IT support is provided at most by Excel. Products are not traceable during the manufacturing process. So you don't know where the product is in the production hall during the production process uh, or uh, on and between plants and sites. And more information is available in paper form only. And then we, we switch to level two, level three is for example, production control is carried out by the manufacturing execution system. So by the production planning system, so there is a kind of vertical integration for steps, which acts as a kind of data hub where you can collect the data uh, and, and uh, between the top floor and the shop floor and the products can be uh, tracked uh, within this production. Uh, you can, you know, at which machine or which order or which product in production. In the production and, process. Yes, uh, Martin, um, in, in some of the whole fields of, of activities, we have more than 80 criteria. It's a, a very uh, uh, large amount of criteria and, and key topics and, and yes, a lot of different uh, uh, maturities. So it needs a lot of time. Yes. 80, 80 uh, uh, criteria in discussions. 
and uh, it leads to a very difficult and uh, detailed uh, picture of the maturity of the company. And the good thing is, it's done not by any professional from outside who is observing the company and telling them what are your maturity. They are doing it in detail for themselves by discussing the topics, the criteria, and by being led from the moderator uh, to find the right process through the maturity level uh, discussions. I think that's a really important point, uh, 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 as Mr. Chandel said. Uh, we as, as our institute uh, uh, support uh, uh, the companies or uh, especially uh, areas of company to moderate these workshops because as, as, as Mr. Chandler said, the, the, the knowledge is in the head of the, of the experts in the, in the companies. Yeah, but not the method how to get it out <laughs> from the head to um, systematically approach, giving them a picture like this where they can see, okay, after all these discussions, one, two, three days, depending on the, on the size of the company, um, our maturity level, which we discussed and decided for ourselves is like this. Uh, and you see all these uh, criteria, uh, production program planning at uh, uh, one o'clock, uh, two o'clock MRP, uh, three o'clock operations planning, production control and so on. Like uh, um, eight o'clock quality management, maintenance and repair. So all the criteria discussing in detail um, are now um, in a, a spider diagram, uh, fully evaluated, and you get an actual profile. And this is displayed displayed in the spider diagram. And then uh, the the highest completely fulfilled maturity level represents the degree of maturity of each criteria. And then you see the gap between um, the actual state and the 100% theoretically, um, the theoretically 100%, um, uh, which is not necessarily uh, to be targeted from the company. So it's not necessary to reach 100%. It depends on the in the in industry. So automotive is beyond uh, most other industries. Peter Tracker already said in the 1960s, um, automotive industry is the industry of industries and it's still one of the leading industries in, in digitalization. So they are far beyond the most others, but let's say uh, uh, paper industry is far be beyond because they had to be automated many decades before. But wood, for example, is not very industrialized, or it's industrialized, but not very um, uh, digitalized, digitalized in the comparison. So they don't need to be to, to reach 100%. They have to discuss for themselves as um, um, competitor in the industry and as company with own targets, what do we want to reach? And, um, and uh, so we, we have to go to the next step where we want to find this, um, where we want to find these targets. And this is the moment where I want to switch also to the next uh, presenter. And um, now, uh, Ernst, I would uh, leave the presentation and okay. you can start yours okay. right now. I hope. Okay, I will start it. I hope I need not too long. I think it works. Do you see my... Yes. Screen. Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you, Martin. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm a step before. Um, as mentioned before, uh, now it's time to define the future, to define the future digital uh, maturity uh, level. And the target states are defined or should be de defined by experts, by internal uh, experts because they have the knowledge of X of, of, of each uh, field of action and the starting point for this uh, uh, very often uh, hardly and strongly uh, uh, leaded discussions are also the um, strategy of industry 4.0. Uh, target state is defined individually. That's uh, important, individually according to the needs, to the needs 
of the company and needs yeah a, a very different in 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 different um, uh, companies uh, when defining the target sets um, the maturity levels uh, also help as a guide as a guideline or, 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 or as a for orientation that's that's very useful maybe are uh, useful for your uh, task in the in the, the workshop uh, and it's important to know uh, now the target maturity level must be defined of each criterion and that's a lot of time as mentioned before it takes one to two uh, days uh, it's not necessary to uh, uh, reach level five the highest the highest level when when we define the future uh, uh, needed not necessarily to be regarded as the target state of our company it depends on their um, needs uh, methods we used uh, uh, in in these workshops brainstorming brain writing meta plan and so on uh, we also have prepared therefore a very uh, extensive uh, microsoft excel uh, calculator okay that's more or less in a short version uh, step three to define the future digital uh, maturity now we have in this slide two areas i will activate a laser pointer i hope i find it okay i find it uh, uh, by comparing by comparing the actual uh, and target profile uh, of a company or better uh, of a field of activity the first major gaps uh, can be identified the blue um, surface or area represents the current state and the red represents the um, target or the future material uh, a future maturity uh, profile yes uh, the focus that's important uh, uh, is on the uh, criteria with the largest gaps for example uh, here the largest gaps in 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 in, in this uh, context for example uh, production control uh, you have a gap about one two three three maturious level and uh, a secondary which is important uh, for a company in, in this case uh, the area of maintenance uh, and repair uh, the final uh, task is to prioritize the gaps which uh, prioritize for our company or for our field of of action are uh, most important yes and that would be also a task in in your uh, workshop uh, step uh, three okay uh, step four um, is um, takes a lot takes a lot of 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 time to derive and evaluate measures and uh, now in this step now uh, concrete uh, measures are derived they are documented they evaluated uh, to determine the gap or the delta between actual and and future or, or target states therefore you can use uh, different different uh, technologies uh, it's uh, done also by a group of er uh, experts we uh, support them we as our institute uh, uh, support them um, to define the, 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 the measures we, we, we give them uh, ideas we tell them about other companies uh, 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 create measures in this field of action only uh, uh, a moderation uh, functionality because the the, the 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 important knowledge therefore is in the in, in the head of the of the members because they know their 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 the processes uh, maybe it's also important if you define and that's also a a, a, a task uh, after the break in the in the in the workshop uh, the measures must be documented. The measure must be documented uh, uh, uniformly. Maybe uh, uh, you create, uh, therefore, uh, 
uh, XLLs, uh, Microsoft Excel tables, and so on. Uh, descript the measure. Who is the author of the measure? Is it a guy from, from the maintenance? Is it a, 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 a staff from the production planning or production control? The author is also important. Uh, maybe uh, further information, customer uh, benefits, requirements, and, and, and com competences for um, uh, example. And the last step, the last step is uh, that measures uh, can be summarized, summarized uh, to bundles or, 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 or cluster. That's important. Uh, that's also the topic you have uh, to do in your in your workshop. Uh, very useful. Uh, therefore, is a tool like a portfolio presentation. And in the next slide, uh, I will talk uh, something about the 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 evaluation or prioritization uh, of measures according benefits, according efforts, and and also estimated. Uh, estimated uh, costs. Uh, maybe, you see... maybe you, can, maybe you yes. can go back to the last slide. Yes, of course. <laughs> and uh, although um, it is normally very important to, to document also the discussions uh, during the workshops, um, because you get out of this documentation, you get out the, the many ideas for bridging the gap between the current or actual state and the targeted state mm -hmm. um, from the employees, from the workshop participants. It is sometimes necessary to give them some input if technology is not well known in the company, a new technology, which they can't, um, where they can't have the overview and the, the possibility to express and to evaluate it. So whether some specific IoT um, technology is helpful for this company or not, and then it's helpful to have some input uh, talks from the field of, of experts, let's say from university or from any other experts, giving them specific input to such uh, specific technology, which can be helpful for them in future. So that okay, they can say, yes, we, we never thought about this, but you are right. If there is a technology like this that we didn't know, we should, and it's it's useful in other in other industries. We can also use it in a similar or analog um, um, process in our industry. So we should try to bring it into our company and into our industry and use it in future too. And then you need external uh, input too. Thanks for additional uh, information. Uh, um, I will I'll show you the the the, the portfolio. Uh, a presentation. It's very helpful. It's very useful. Uh, on the on the left side, you you see the, the results of a of a, 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 a workshop. Uh, and and um, now um, we have decided in 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 our uh, approach that the measures are evaluated and. Uh, Prioritized concerning of effort, benefit, and 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 costs. Here you see at uh, at the x-axis, for example, the, the 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 effort from 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 a low effort to a high, uh, and then the other uh, uh, x on the y-axis uh, also the benefit. The benefit also from low and high, and um, 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 so you can with this method. Uh, uh, you can. This is the forbidden zone. The red one is the forbidden zone, isn't it? Yes, the, the, the red one is uh, uh, yes the forbidden zone. Uh, the the green one in in in, in this case. Uh, so can you how to say uh, very easy easy um, identify uh, for your company for your field of 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 action uh, quick wins or, or also called maybe low hanging fruits uh, also, also in your picture they hang quite high yeah they they <laughs> they hanging quite high but but in this green uh, quadrant quadrant i don't uh, it, it's the the the, the, the correct yes. correct word uh, uh, here you see the the 
the measures with uh, uh, low uh, effort and, and high benefit. We have collected them in a, in a more or less uh, uh, complex Microsoft uh, Excel application and, and uh, your, uh, you, I will, where's my laser pointer? Yes, uh, here you can define your measure. You get out from the from the the the, the, the workshop. Uh, you, uh, as mentioned before, uh, description of the um, um, measure to define effort from uh, uh, zero to six. Also, uh, benefit from zero to six and and the uh, estimated costs. And uh, you will get a, a good overview about about the measures and the tire method of the measures uh, reflects the uh, estimated costs. That leads me to the last pillar, as mentioned before at the beginning of our presentation, uh, the pillar of implementation and starting and starting the the first uh, projects. Uh, in this step, in step five, uh, the prioritized measures. That was topic I was done in, in the step before. Now used as a proposal, proposal sorry, uh, for decision making uh, by the management. And this is the decision making uh, uh, board maybe is the top management or department heads, managing directors, board directors, uh, and so on. What could be methods uh, therefore? Yes, uh, select the project, for example, uh, uh, that bring the highest benefit or, or uh, do an evaluation of, of, of projects uh, according high attractiveness uh, or, or, or risk criteria or project evaluation um, according strategic importance and so on. And we suggest um, for this case, for the selected targets and measures, uh, uh, they should be included in a, how you say, in a system of of, of KPIs uh, uh, added by concrete um, targets for monitoring, for example, and also for achievement uh, for a rich uh, achievement. And the tool uh, uh, balance scorecard uh, maybe is therefore. A very helpful and instrument, uh, an instrument uh, that translates uh, more or less in, in, in my personal opinion, uh, the corporate vision and strategy into a bundle of KPIs and as well as the therefore necessary uh, budget. But of course, there are many companies which don't want to use uh, such uh, BC for such a for such a um, reason and for such uh, use. And then you can also use other different uh, possibilities of um, investment calculation or anything else. Yes, in, in small and in small uh, companies, uh, uh, you're not very often find uh, uh, PSCs. Yes, that's <laughs> that's the fact. <laughs> yes, and now we come to the last step. I hope oh, uh, I'm more or less in time. Uh, the, 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 the concrete uh, starting of 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 of, of uh, projects. Now we come to the uh, uh, step to 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 transform our ideas. The released ideas or, or, or measures uh, from the from the management uh, uh, to set up concrete a project or more projects. That means classical project management versus uh, multi-project uh, management. Uh, for example, in 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 this case, uh, it's advisable to start uh, with pilot projects uh, to get experience and, and learn effects or, or, or a, a learning curve. And after uh, useful implementation of, of pilot uh, uh, projects, uh, roll out the, 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 the projects across the whole uh, companies, yes, and after uh, a rollout uh, uh, projects in the companies, you also should uh, you also should uh, control uh, uh, the implemented um, 
uh, projects uh, by comparing the planned and expected expected, sorry, expected uh, results. Yes, lead that was in the very... End, lead us to the end of the presentation. And let's just uh, summarize that at the, the last two points that the balanced uh, scorecard um, has one uh, big advantage, which can also be used without the balanced scorecard, but which is important. Strategies are not done in many companies. Strategies are uh, not... Um, useful or let's say don't have the impact they should because there is a problem in the transformation. Uh, there's a problem in, in bringing them down to operative uh, management. And the best thing to do so is to use the budget of the next year and the budgets of the next years to anchor your um, measurements and projects, your digitalization transformation projects, the small and the big ones with the budgeting of the next years because the budgeting is one contract which is uh, strict uh, which where the, the management of the company is strictly looks at uh, and so there is a higher probability that it works out yes so, that, that was yet uh, now in, in a very shortly way the presentation of of our approach uh, uh, to uh, transform uh, into direction of digitization of these three pillars and these uh, six steps. Yes, uh, now we're at the end. We, I look at my watch. Yes, we have 10 minutes uh, uh, before three. Uh, the next step uh, ever is to... There is one question in the chat. Okay, from... okay, uh, sorry, yes. Yeah. Maybe we can answer, mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. you can answer, please. It's uh, he is wondering if the client will receive at the end of the process a roadmap, or has he to pay for the roadmap, or what is the, the exact proposal? The end of this of this process is what is a roadmap? A roadmap is the way to reach a target. So it's a strategy. Uh, a bundle of uh, it's a strategy, and the strategy is also uh, named a bundle of projects and measurements. In in theory and in practice, it's the same. So if you can say which steps you want to go, where you want to invest, where you want to develop, what concrete with which people and uh, with, with whom, and which amount of money and resources, in which month and years in the next uh, in the next uh, for the next future, then you have. A kind of roadmap on documented on your paper, and this is the roadmap you use for yourself. So the last two steps, uh, the decision for which kind of uh, projects you are, uh, which which kind of projects you decide on, and the and the management or the project management of your company. How do you proceed in fulfilling all these ideas and projects and measurements in the next month and uh, and years? is kind of uh, daily management of the companies and we only propose how to do it, but they have to do it in the next years, of course, so to fulfill this path. And this documented path is the roadmap in the future of digitalization. I hope I, I did understand uh, the question. Yeah, already. Maybe uh, uh, my, my approach is that this transformation uh, um, roadmap is a systematic approach to come in a structured way from the beginning, uh, uh, from the uh, uh, first meeting uh, in a structured way, either defining the processes, either defining the actual state, uh, even def uh, about defining the, the target state, uh, 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 deriving measures to a proposal for the management. to release in, in, in a further step, uh, uh, concrete projects. Okay. And uh, there is the last question that I would like to ask you to answer um, about the maturity, which is set for each dimension. Is that right? It's, it's not the general maturity, but it's uh, set for all of the, the spider um, yes, yes, that, 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 that's important. Of each criteria, yes, okay. of each criteria, we have defined five levels from level one to five, and we have this level defined very deeply for each criterion. Uh, for, yes, in, in some about 
80 criteria. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. 400. And now we have, let's say, six minutes left for describing the case. Okay. Quite okay. briefly, because all the I participants will do it quite have, briefly. Yes, then we already can go received to the... it before, so they had the chance to read through. Yes, Please. I will do it very briefly. That uh, uh, at three we can drink a coffee. I will change uh, from PowerPoint to my PDF file. Uh, where is the Information, uh, let's talk about uh, the use case uh, steel hammer. Um, you can read it, uh, the motivation or, or, or background uh, uh, information, you uh, and- we still, see, we still see the PowerPoint. Okay, okay. Uh, he, you don't see my, my, my slide? We still see the, the PowerPoint. Okay. Okay. What's uh, maybe you shared only the PowerPoint uh, maybe window? I, I should stop. Okay. I will try it once again. Where's the use case? Okay. That was the PowerPoint slide. Now it should work. Do you see the case? Yes. Okay. Yes, uh, um, the use case still hammer, what was the uh, motivation for the or introduction? Uh, you or, or, or better your group uh, uh, should be in the role of a, of a, a consultant and you will support uh, uh, the company still hammer to their first steps uh, on their digital uh, journey. Uh, the company uh, uh, has managed in, in the past very, uh, Traditional, they, uh, they, 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 that was also the, 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 the reason uh, that they decide they will do uh, some first uh, digitization steps because, and that was the, 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 the most important reason that the production manager, the production manager uh, uh, that uh, uh, leads the, 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 the production and also uh, uh, responsible for, um, for maintenance uh, retired. That means, uh, he's going in 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 pension, and therefore um, a lot of knowledge uh, is lost. A uh, production planning was uh, done by the brain of these uh, key people of this production manager, and and with Excel. And he had a lot uh, of uh, experience. He, he worked more than than than, than forty years in this. Uh, company, and that was the the, the main reason uh, when uh, the. Uh, production manager goes in pension that uh, uh, a lot of knowledge is lost and, and therefore they will do some uh, digitization steps. The management was uh, uh, strongly uh, uh, happy or, 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 or strongly supports the, the, the first uh, digitization uh, measures. Okay, what's the company? Uh, the company uh, produces uh, so-called pneumatic hammers pneumatic hammers for, for, for mining, creating a, a steel uh, industry uh, in, in, a, in different weight classes and a lot of different, different um, uh, variants. Uh, some information uh, about the used uh, uh, software solutions in this company. Uh, it's a small company, only about uh, 70 um, uh, employees. And they used an ERP system like uh, uh, SAP uh, for uh, financing and uh, cost accounting, for the HR, material management, and also for the, for the sales and distribution. But they didn't use it for the uh, production planning. They also had a, a further software like AutoCAD, CADCAM. Uh, the most important or the most used uh, um, software solution in the area of, of production was Microsoft Excel. And further, they had a self-developed software for a warehouse uh, management. Um, uh, there was also done a very intensive, uh, comprehensive uh, process 
uh, analysis uh, you see here in the in the table as a different uh, processes were evaluated, were modeled by a standard uh, process management tool like the, the, the roles of PPMN2. Yes, in a very uh, uh, shortly or simplified form, uh, you see the, the, the production process. He, he starts with some mechanical uh, um, uh, steps, cutting, milling. Then there was an external uh, uh, processing step treat heat, I hope it's correct, heat treatment, but when I remember correctly that it comes back in the, in, in the company steel hammer and further mechanical steps, uh, drilling, turning and uh, assembling. Yes, that was the process and I hope I'm in time. What has happened until now, that's maybe important for the concrete task. The task will explain after a coffee break, the first three steps, that's important, the first three steps of our, our transformation roadmap uh, uh, have already been done. Um, you will start with the fourth step. All groups of you will start with the fourth uh, steps. Uh, the results of these three steps, uh, can you see in this uh, spidergram, as mentioned before, in 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 our in our presentation, uh, I, it's important also for step five and step six is out of the scope is out of the scope of the of the workshop. Only step four is important for you. That's I think uh, 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 the key information for your. Workshops. Uh, what has been done? Or well, what's what's the results of these three steps mentioned before? Yes, here you can see the the, the two profiles: the actual versus the target uh, maturity profile. Yes, and here you have a short summarized uh, description of the levels and the appendix. We have uh, more or less the script in, in, in more deep the, the maturities level. Yes, and I think we can make a break. And after the break, I will explain exactly the, the task for the, for the groups. Thank you. Thank you. So let's meet again at, let's say, 10 minutes past three. Okay.
So welcome back. And let's continue now with the tasks that you are supposed to implement during the workshop session. Yes, I activate my micro. You also see my screen and you also yes. can? Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, then we come to the definition of that task. That may be the most important information of you. Yes, uh, important. Group Basinga and group Fast and Curious. Uh, should deal or should define measures for the criteria. I hope you can read it, production control and traceability. Uh, the main question, which measures are requirement to move from material level one to level three? That's the topic for these both uh, groups. Uh, for the second both groups, uh, science code and uh, uh, beautiful mind, uh, they should uh, find measures uh, to come from level two to level four. That's different to the other groups. Uh, find uh, uh, measures uh, in this case in the area of maintenance. For the other groups, area of production and control and for science code and beautiful mind, the criteria maintenance and repair. What's exactly to do? That's uh, important for you. Uh, task one, brainstorm in your group about creative measures. You can use the, 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 the concept but in, in, in this setting. Then if you have done the brainstorming, point two is a bundle similar uh, measures to a cluster. Give the cluster a, a meaningful name. Step three, uh, prioritize the cluster. Which should be implemented first? That's important. Prioritize this cluster and therefore, uh, for this step, uh, step three, uh, each of you has five points available and use them to prioritize the cluster in, in uh, bundled in, 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 in step two. You can give uh, all points if, if, you, if you want to, to, to one cluster or only one or, the, or, or, or two points to the next cluster, but you only have maximum five points. Then make the total sum of all points per cluster and the last step uh, rank the clusters uh, in, in order of the importance. And there is a, a, a matter uh, task or, or question, please uh, point, point four, please reflect what challenges may occur when defining measures or, or, or further on uh, concrete project ideas. That's the task. Okay, thank you. Um, these two Excel tables are also available on your concept board. And there you can zoom in and read uh, which um, um, key factors are relevant in each of the maturity level. And after the workshop, I would like to ask you to pitch five minutes per group again and to present the three top ranked clusters of measures, which should be implemented in the, let's say, upcoming three years. And also to tell us about the challenges that you expect to occur during the definition of the measures or project ideas. And uh, we have not yet talked about the points, but you can see it here. Uh, each group can reach 30 points for the ideas that come up in the concept board and 20 points for the five minute pitch. Okay, so that's it so far. And there are two questions in the chat. Uh, please give an example of a measure. 
Okay, uh, what could be an, an, an example for, uh, for instance in the area of, of maintain, maintenance? Uh, nowadays, they, they, they use only uh, paper and, 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 and Excel for, for, for planning their maintenance uh, um, uh, task. Uh, also, they have uh, SAP, but uh, they don't use, for example, the module SAP uh, uh, only ha uh, also has a model uh, um, a module for 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 plant maintenance, for example. That means uh, uh, implement a new model of your consisting uh, SAP system. That could be a, a concrete uh, uh, measure, and it's really a, a a project, for example. Okay, thank you, and and you also can get the ideas from the levels. Okay. You can also and here get the ideas. That's, uh, uh, yes, for, for your brainstorming, in my opinion, a, a useful help. help. Okay. So let's start working in the groups now. Now I can stop my PDF file. Yes, I think. Okay, yes. I will stop it. And okay, uh, here I can see the breakout sessions.
Ça. Who has been, who has been the, the referee that took well, out? Well, you have been uh, Eva. Okay. One minute more. <laughs> no more than one minute. No, sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. okay. I have Very respective. Also. Marco, I can remember your. <laughs> I have seen that you have been very active. I have been jumping between the rooms and uh, I'm gonna share now again my screen. And no, I'm not sharing my screen. I just uh, want to recap. So please present the three top ranked clusters of measures, describe them briefly and then tell us about the challenges that occur. And I will now start the timer. Which group is starting? Um, so which group should we start with? I would like to have Fast and Curious as okay. first, please. Ah, fast Thank and you. Curious. <laughs> We okay. were second so, the last time, eh? So it's volunteer, it's to be really the first volunteer to... Oh, uh, let me wait a second, I have to okay. show the countdown. Okay, um, so... Um, and go! Okay, so we have created a, a three clusters that we consider very important. The first one is... Uh, um, let's say that the strategic input, the strategic uh, uh, commitment that we have. So, which are the business goals? What are the expected costs and the timeline? And also the budget that it is given, um, a given um, uh, available. And also the assessment of uh, availability of uh, HR resources. So the, the resources, the, the people that will be um, really involved. Then we have set two clusters, one, let's say, on people, that is, uh, and the other on the technical domain. I start with the people, so that uh, we need to determine the training needs uh, in, um, for the individual uh, in uh, crew groups, and uh, also um, the um, information to the staff, the, 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 the changes that are going to, to happen, and the training on production planning, and uh, uh, determine the training needs uh, in the okay no sorry it, okay the, the the training needs are already already defined already I've already uh, spoken about that the other the third cluster is the technical domain so we have uh, to understand uh, um, to involve also the external suppliers to to understand uh, what are uh, the functions and the possibility uh, to expand uh, SAP. Uh, with the production planning modules and also um, the possibility of integration with uh, um, the mass system uh, with uh, um, also with the uh, um, supply chain management the SEM uh, module that we have already inside uh, mm -hmm. we have to codify the the knowledge of the production manager we have to assess uh, the equipment state uh, the state of the equipment in terms of the digitalization uh, possibility availability and the um, um, and the technical aspect that is the selection of implementation of the tracking method we we have uh, different methods that are available like barcode or FID we have to assess which one is, fits the best uh, in our in our case what are the challenges that uh, um, we are we we, we have to uh, to set is that uh, okay the main statement is that we, we don't want to lose the production performance during the project development the deployment so we have to understand and uh, to assess if uh, the equipment is uh, is is state of the art or is old that could be a mix and if it's uh, not uh, uh, possible to digitize it or to have input from in it to set it feasible to invest also in new equipment, more performing and uh, easy to connect. Um, could be uh, a, a challenge on uh, HR, let's say in char, uh, HR or climate into the, into the project uh, to, have, uh, a non, uh, to avoid non-collaborative attitude. 
and uh, also uh, internal collaboration uh, among the functional department and collaboration and visibility of external supplier. There was the heat, heat treatment supplier and their ICT infrastructure, it is possible to, to have visibility and to, and to merge information. Okay, thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you, Paolo. You were really fast. Too fast, too furious. Too fast, too furious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so thank you. And uh, let's continue with the group Bazinga. Who will present? And would you like to share with us the concept for it? Can we share, Michal? Yes, I will, I will do that. Okay, so can I start? Yes, count on. Now I don't see it, it, it the font is too small. Uh, okay, no problem. Uh, that's it. So our task uh, was to uh, Suggest uh, the company still hammer the measures uh, that uh, they should implement uh, in order to get from uh, maturity level one to maturity level three in production control and traceability. Uh, measures that uh, we've defined in production control uh, in uh, the way that they should be implemented is first that uh, production should be analyzed so the current state uh, should uh, be completely clear. And uh, if necessary, business process re-engineering should be done before we start uh, uh, digitalizing uh, the production process. Uh, when uh, when we do, uh, do this first analysis, uh, then we will see what is the data that is critical uh, for us uh, to use in order to get to the level three of the uh, maturity level three. And uh, so I don't see it. Yeah, and uh, the second step uh, would be uh, to do the retrofitting of machines and install the sensors to get the data uh, which is necessary for the ERP system because company has ERP system, but not for the production uh, process. So if we want to use also the model for the production uh, control, then we need to have necessary data. And we, if we want to have the data, then uh, we need to install sensors, uh, machine interfaces, and uh, do the, all the retrofitting that is necessary. Uh, and. Uh, when we have that, uh, we can uh, install the ERP system and uh, do the, all the training for the, our employees and everything that is necessary in order to get to maturity level three. So if we want to go higher to level four or five, uh, then we can do more things, but uh, our task was to go, go to the maturity level three. The second uh, part was uh, to raise the traceability uh, in company from uh, maturity level one to maturity level three, uh, uh, we saw that uh, what we need was uh, some infrastructure. So maybe if we want to implement uh, barcode uh, uh, tracing or uh, RFID tracing, then we need to install the infrastructure, the hardware, the software, uh, the network that would gather all the data. And uh, so from no traceability, to, uh, there was some traceability using uh, Excel, uh, but uh, that way we will have a real time uh, overview of the whole production system and we can trace each part to the whole production system and not just production, but the whole uh, business process. Uh, and uh, that's it uh, because we only need to go to the level three. And uh, then we, we can have uh, the ERP system and the real-time overview of uh, our production system and traceability of uh, the production uh, process. And uh, the main challenges uh, uh, that we see uh, that could happen uh, is uh, that uh, maybe 
our production system uh, is not suitable to use the module that is available in SAP. Mm -hmm. we, we should check if uh, this is doable or maybe we should uh, develop uh, a new uh, ERP for our production from scratch. And uh, also some of the machines are maybe not suitable for retrofitting and uh, so we cannot gather data from them. Also, uh, people and the whole company culture should uh, change because uh, uh, people will be monitored more closely. So we should manage this uh, change and maybe in, 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 uh, introduce some incentives so people uh, use this new technology and new approach. So this, could, this should all be a part of a bigger change management uh, program uh, in order to for the company to be better, not in just these two parts, but in all uh, other parts of doing business. That's it. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's our now the first two groups, and um, well, now we have only two groups left. So please. Let's go on with the science quote. Mm, okay, so uh, I will try to share uh, our concept board. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. And the countdown okay. starts. Okay, it's uh, pretty uh, colorful. Uh, and full of information. Uh, so uh, yeah, we had to, uh, we had the challenge to uh, go from maturity level two to maturity level four in terms of uh, maintenance. Uh, and uh, during our brainstorming session, uh, we have identified uh, two main clusters and two subclusters. Uh, of the measures that we would like to um, to develop. So the first one we named it as a human driven because it relates to the uh, to the employees and to the people that are in the company. And the second one is technology driven. So uh, of course related to the technology, and it is divided into two parts: the data gathering. So the the measures that uh, will help us to gather the data and the data analysis, so analysis of those uh, which will let us to analyze what we already uh, gathered, yes, logically. Uh, so uh, in terms of the first cluster, uh, we, um, uh, we would like to uh, propose the measures of uh, preparation of the trainings for the employees that already are in the company to improve their skills uh, in terms of the maintenance that will uh, contribute to the um, to the automation and to the um, processes that we would like to uh, give them with the uh, sensors and uh, retrofitting of the machines. So all the this technological layer. Um, so we have to upskill the um, uh, the workforce. Uh, we uh, need to predict if we need to hire uh, anybody else, or uh, do we already have the the skills uh, on board? Uh, we have to draft a full work plan of uh, we. I mean the company. Uh, we will uh, uh, the the company should draft the whole work plan about the human resources trainings. Uh, timing investment, so also finances should be uh, should be here to um, should be here to be considered in terms of the uh, the um, increasing the maturity level uh, in the maintenance sector. Uh, of course, we have to remember, and this is also it's mixed in both clusters of so human and technology. We have to remember what we have already in the company, uh, so the historical data uh, have to be integrated. Uh, the systems that we have, this uh, SAP system that was mentioned, uh, should be uh, integrated into into new layer to uh, to be able to fulfill the maturity level four. Uh, and of course, which is very important, the, the knowledge transfer from the retired person and from the uh, people that was uh, working were working with them uh, is also very important to. Uh, to have it on board and to integrate it in the um, uh, in the uh, next level of uh, of our uh, industry 4.0 automation, let's say. Uh, 
Uh, in the cluster 2.1, the data gathering, we have uh, strictly um, uh, technological uh, measures, so uh, sensors, uh, so our P systems, wearable devices, uh, this digital retrofitting. So this is what should be done in the company to, um, uh, to be able to gather the data that will be um, develop and maintain in a real time because this is what uh, what differentiate um, this uh, these two levels. So it, now we have only historical data, but with the maturity level number four, uh, we should be able to uh, to check it to to maintain the data uh, in a real time. Uh, and in the cluster to two, we will uh, analyze this data. Uh, for example, we can create this automated role-based uh, dashboard. So each uh, each of the employee that will be engaged in the in these processes will have his own uh, dashboard with the with the tasks and the the measures, the data that he needs, and he will be able to to manage it by its own. Uh, this integration of the systems that we already have, because it is very important to. Uh, to include, uh, to leverage the existing, not to build the totally new or separated systems. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the MAS systems uh, or uh, CMMS software to plan and manage to monitor maintenance activities. So, and this is, uh, uh, this is what, we, uh, what we have created, the clusters that we have uh, uh, prioritized. Yeah, and uh, so um, uh, last sentence, uh, the whole process should be um, should include both humans and technology. Um, most companies, when they say industry 4.0 transformation, thinks only about technology and uh, it should include all uh, both of those uh, layers. And the roadmap itself should be focused not only on the short term, but on the long term vision of the uh, of the company. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Very interesting. Good job. Thank you. Great Thank job. You. Okay. And finally, we have the group of Beautiful Mind. Are you ready to start? Yes. Um, this is Pavel Vatsnik, and I'll, I'm supposed to present the results of our uh, workshop. Uh, let me share the screen. Um, well and i switch from lens back to the green background and the countdown please okay uh, yes we in the group uh, were also su supposed to work on uh, the area of maintenance and repair uh, and going from level two uh, to level four uh, we have uh, worked out, uh, let's say, three main areas, which, uh, in our opinion, are uh, most important to effectively develop and implement uh, in the, uh, the process. Uh, so uh, the, um, all of them were evaluated, uh, let's say, uh, um, with the same score, uh, uh, so they are presented here in uh, three areas. So first, data collection and IT system, then uh, human resources, skills availability, availability and then organization. Mm, uh, in yellow, mm, uh, we have the measures uh, in, let's say, pipe, Purple, uh, we have some uh, challenges, questions which have to be addressed. So the first uh, area is data collection IT systems. Um, and in this area, we have to, um, first of all, define uh, the data avail available, historical data, uh, how they are uh, gathered, uh, in which way we know that Excel works, but we have to look at the, um, the scope of this data and maybe some of the data from the machines have to be, uh, we have to receive more data from the machines. So maybe some uh, data about vibration, temperature, energy use, 
so this will be the the task the measure um, on this base uh, uh, we have to develop and implement the production equipment monitoring system we believe that uh, small expert system should be um, should be developed uh, for the company uh, the system which will then present uh, the data and also use the machine learning uh, to develop to let's say implement the predictive uh, maintenance uh, system mm, uh, okay uh, the second group is human resources skills avail availability it is very important in our opinion to have the adequate uh, skills um, on board, uh, so we have to identify the needs for new skills connected with the systems, the new organization, and develop some training uh, programs, not only technical, but also soft skills. Uh, the third group is organization, so we have to, in order to be effective, to um, we have to modify the, if there is a need, we believe there May, may be the need uh, to modify the organization structure, so make the department or person responsible for data collection, analysis, and interpretation, uh, and supporting the preventive pre preventive maintenance uh, algorithms or, or system. And what is very important to measure the effectiveness and uh, the process, we have to define key performance indicators uh, connected with this area, um, like um, downtime, downtime uh, in safety failures uh, or OEE indicator uh, and measure the base and uh, show the future uh, future performance indicators uh, to measure the effectiveness of the process. Mm, uh, the questions, measures to be considered, of course, uh, we have to think about the budget, the timeline uh, of, the, of the process. Uh, mm, decide on some technical aspects like internal to one uh, server to okay final sentence please so we, we believe that th that this uh, process uh, can be really effective and implement uh, and influence the uh, effectiveness of the whole company thank you thanks thank you a lot much. Thanks to all four groups for your uh, active work. And I will now hand over to the two experts for their debriefing and summarize. Okay. And so, the points. <laughs> yes, would you please start or? Uh, you want. Yes. Uh, the um... point. <laughs> Okay, then, then, then I would like to start. Yeah, uh, congratulations to all of, 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 of the four groups. Uh, I'm really surprised that you go uh, in really in, 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 in deep details. For example, you, you mentioned about technology like implementation, uh, uh, sensors, retrofitting, uh, 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 barcodes for, for, for traceability. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, that was really surprising for me. I, I, I thought that uh, I didn't uh, believe that you go so uh, deep in 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 detail. Um, when I when I look at my uh, real uh, project uh, uh, results, I think you have you have mentioned uh, uh, sixty or or, or seventy. Uh, percent of that measures that we have realized in 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 our in our projects yes uh, i'm looking at uh, special further uh, measures uh, i don't remember um, uh, if one group the the, the 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 group which deals with the the the, the topic of of maintenance and 
pair. Uh, uh, in, in our real case, uh, uh, we also uh, deal with the topic augmented reality. That's uh, uh, really uh, an important uh, uh, feature um, concerning uh, maintenance, remote, remote uh, uh, maintenance, uh, for example. Uh, uh, but also we, we uh, created uh, uh, for, 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 for measures uh, uh, was the implementation of 3D printer, for example, to print their own uh, spare parts. Yes, uh, yes, uh, but I would say you did really a, 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 very, a very good job. Yes, uh, congratulations also from my side. I think that uh, the interesting thing was that uh, at the beginning, it was in some groups a little bit easy to find the right path, but at the end, all of them uh, found a very good solution concerning the, the fact that you didn't have a lot of time. And <laughs> you all also met some of what we uh, define as kind of recommendation or standard um, uh, strategies we would propose for companies if, um, if they don't have the the time until now to make such a deep going um, maturity um, analysis. And so we would say to the companies, if you want to, uh, to make everything you can before starting such um, digitalization uh, projects and maybe before uh, building up a roadmap to digitalization, there are four standard strategies. Um, first one would be, to introduce lean processes, uh, because lean management is kind of a lean process, a kind of prerequisite uh, for standard strategies. Um, the second one would be a standard strategy that you invest more in digitalization as a, as a whole um, in all business areas, so uh, that you have the bandwidth uh, in the production hall and wherever, uh, cloud uh, services and so on. The standard strategy three would be increasing the know-how of your employees and you all, almost every group did uh, focus also on this on this topic and uh, and fostered and, and uh, had this a solution to foster the know-how of the employees or to hire for new um, capabilities and new employees uh, maybe to do the analysis analysis in future um, so that you can maximize the impact of lean management and digitization and the fourth strategy would be to develop new uh, business models, which, which is of course afterwards uh, important. So if you would, if you if you would do most of the things you thought about and uh, the first three strategies, um, every real uh, project you do would uh, have the chance to be to to have an, an more realistic impact than just taking into account or to, to take someone from outside as a consultant. And he gives you some advice, and when he or she leaves, uh, two or three months later, no one in the company has the mood and has the uh, the verb to to foster this digitalization roadmap. So, uh, I think it's a good um, uh, overlapping of such standard strategies and your some of your solutions. And congratulations again. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes. Uh, uh... Martin uh, uh, said all uh, really went uh, steps uh, the, the, the strategy from a from a from a basic strategy a lean uh, 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 processes to to for example uh, new uh, uh, digitized uh, business models I think uh, it's important that you follow in generally a structured way a structured way like uh, our 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 uh, transformation map down uh, uh, or avoid uh, a cherry picking strategy I think that's that's uh, uh, very important. And a, a, a last point uh, 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 of my, uh, it's, I think it's a, a really uh, important point. Uh, don't forget to involve your staff, your uh, uh, employee, employees. Uh, they should be convinced uh, uh, from this approach. They should be uh, uh, convinced uh, uh, um, or, or, or better said, they should trust in in in, in these new uh, uh, technologies. They uh, uh, they should train their for they they they, they should wrap up uh, uh, their skills uh, for this uh, very interesting journey in a digitized world. 
Thank you. So thanks again to both experts. So the, today's session was somehow a bit a recap of the three previous sessions, uh, starting with the maturity assessment and uh, discussing about uh, technology implications as well as business implications. And of course, uh, as uh, Ernst mentioned right before, uh, taking the employees in the process, involving them actively is the key element for a successful transformation. Okay, so are there any questions from the audience? This would be a good moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so seems not. Then I would like to ask you to fill in the questionnaire to give us your valuable feedback and I'm just posting the link in the chat. So please click on the forms on the template and give us your feedback. This looks kind of dangerous. If someone do have any question afterwards, of course, you do have our email address. Don't hesitate to send us a mail and ask a question personally. We yes, like to be fine. On the first page there are our email addresses. Wobei man sieht hier ein Bildschirm. questionnaire and in the meantime I would like to recap a little bit. Uh, we have had now four sessions about the assessment, technology implications, business implications and today the transformation roadmap and each of the organizing partner has planned to have a face-to-face -face meeting in June with the local stakeholders, with the local ESOs, business support organizations in their region. And we intend to have these face-to-face -face meetings in June. Hopefully COVID uh, makes no longer no major problems anymore. And we can implement this face-to-face -face meetings in Austria, Linz, in Croatia, in Rika, in Poland, Katowice, in Germany, and in two locations in Italy, in Turin and Udine, and also in the Czech Republic, in the capital city, in Prague. And I would like to 
invite you to go to our uh, platform on the uh, web address boostforbso.eu. There you can find several topics in the knowledge exchange section. And there already the first session is online with uh, all the topics, all the, uh, all the presentation and also uh, the group works are available there for download. And we will continue with the other three sessions. We will upload them in the upcoming days. Okay, and now we, we are, are still waiting for the points. We are still waiting for the points. Who? It's getting really. It thrilling. seems to be a, a very difficult decision. <laughs> Between the experts. Mr. Mr. Pezzle is switching. <laughs> okay. But you got mine. Hopefully. Not yet. Oh, you should. I <laughs> sent you back me to go. Okay. Uh, On which way? Uh, via mail. Okay, no. No. I'm sorry. So I checked if maybe I have received the message. Maybe. Wait a moment. Send again. This up a day. It's in the it's in the it's in the table. I put it in the table. Yes. I will also put it in the table. And there are the numbers. Measure speech total. But I don't received a mail. Georg.alba bits. Georg.alba at bits minus up. Dot at. I sent it again. <laughs> we... Sorry for the technical issues. Uh, can we meet in the expert room? I can give it to you there if you want to. Yeah, that's. I will send it in the next second to you. Um, in a moment, maybe so I sent it to you the points. That's not possible. Crazy. Oh, no. Okay, now it's here. Oh. Thank you very okay. much. I sent you directly with chat again. Yeah. No, you should have both. Give me a few seconds, please, and then we will show you the <laughs> final points. You see my mail or my chat? Um, I see the mail of, of Mr. Pestle and uh, they, the four groups has, has been pointed already. Oh. <laughs> okay. I hope it's. You have uh, sent it me in the chat. In the, everywhere. <laughs> I sent okay, it to you yes. via mail seven minutes ago and <laughs> in the chat too. Okay. The numbers that the. the okay. And, uh, that's not easy. No. Because, oh, the, because the, the points are different. Oh, I see. Uh, I thought you 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 built the uh, average of 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 the okay 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 okay, okay. okay. yeah built average it's okay 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 Perfect. it's okay uh, so Mr Be Mr Bell is always very strong in, no 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 in hearing great <laughs> 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 I'm the going and he is the no problem one. at all so uh, Georg is now. working let's okay. Jetzt schickst du mir deine, schickst du mir deine auch? Ich habe meine auch geschickt. Ah, okay, gerne, ja, ja. So. Um. <laughs> One moment.
Very thrilling, yes. So, okay. So I sent it to Martin. Okay. Save. And close the presentation and then I can show. Ready, Georg? And closed. Wait a moment. Yes, closed. Ready. Okay. <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> okay, then I show my screen to present the results. Okay. <laughs> so the feedback is done. And now. And the winner is. Science Squad, congratulations. Hey. <laughs> 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 congratulations. Congrats. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> okay, and here we have the final ranking with uh, 177 points out of 200. Great job. Very close Fine. to each other. Okay. Okay, finally, I would like to thank you all for being so active, for contributing to these four sessions. And uh, of course, also uh, all the project partners from Boost for BSO who have organized these sessions. And we really hope to meet you then in person in the local meetings. And uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you. Thank you. And bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Bye b